Everyone hates smog, but what can you do about it? Maybe big fans. Ooh, or how about, no, that wouldn't work. You know what? I bet air pollution specialist Lachey Cobley has some better ideas. So let's find out. Los Angeles is known for its weather, gorgeous beaches, and of course, movie and TV stars. But it's not all glamorous. In 2021, there were 7.7 .7 million vehicles registered in LA County, almost all of them spewing out smog. And that smog isn't just turning our skies a sick yellowish gray color. It gets in our lungs and causes numerous health issues. But don't despair. California is turning it around and now leads the nation in establishing the strictest vehicle emission standards in the country. And Dr. Lachey Cobley has made it her mission to clean up our air for future generations. I was raised Rastafarian, which gave me this strong sense of love for nature and this respect for all living things, even though I grew up in a very urban environment and didn't have a lot of nature around me. And then when I got to college, I took my first class on plants and like completely lost my mind. Like I was, did not know that I could be so into plants. My way of getting into studying pollution was actually trying to understand where trees got their nutrients from in cities. And it wind up telling me this like incredible story about pollution. And then I wanted to take it a step further and say, okay, what do we do about this? Which is how I then landed at CARB eventually. CARB stands for the California Air Resources Board. And it creates policies to protect public health and the environment. Here we are at CARB's heavy duty test cell lab where we actually have our heavy duty vehicles set up. We can get them running in real time and make measurements on the emissions that come from them. We actually have the truck set up. Why don't we go in and take a look? The truck is anchored down and sits on an enormous treadmill called a dynamometer. This way, the truck can be tested at all speeds. Rollers on it move the truck's wheels to simulate road conditions. So this giant fan that you see behind me is actually really useful because it allows us to create real world environments. So a truck that may be going on a highway at 80 miles per hour is gonna have very different emissions than a truck that's going 30 miles per hour, let's say in a residential neighborhood. This fan allows us to get those different wind speeds. Here, what you can see is the actual stack where the exhaust is coming out of the truck. We had that connected to our instruments where we can capture all of that pollution that's coming out and make measurements on it. Pollutants coming off of hardworking engines are measured in grams per mile. It's all systems go from the control room and the test starts rolling. So here on our monitors, you can see all of the measurements that are being made in real time. On our middle screen is actually where we're getting all of the pollutants coming off of the exhaust. The lab frequently looks specifically for criteria pollutants, or six common air pollutants established by the Environmental Protection Agency that contribute to bad air. Within minutes, the test yields valuable data that can contribute to regulations that will help clean up and keep the air we breathe breathable. There's a lot of different ways that we can all play a part in cleaning the air and cleaning our environment. Instead of driving to work, maybe have one day a week where you ride your bike, go carpool with friends, get on public transit. These are all things that are gonna reduce vehicle emissions. Great advice, Lachey. I know the next time that I'm heading to the red carpet, I'll ride my bike. Well, maybe not my bike. I'll definitely carpool. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.